It took West Audio this long to hit me up to do this. You have no idea how excited I am right now to do this right here. If y'all don't know, you've been sleeping under a rock. I go by the name of DJ Bless, AKA. <laughs> Filmmaker, producer, rapper, label owner, all around good guy, depending on which girl you ask. Hmm. Credits is ridiculous, multi-platinum. I work with artists such as Lil' Kim. I worked on projects alongside Kanye West, Scott Storch, 36 Mafia, and many others. You feel what I'm saying? Long story short, I got put on the West Audio by my homeboy, X144. At the time, I was looking for a bus compressor. I had just gotten into the 500 series stuff. So I did my research, looked it up. The first piece I picked up was the Dione. I'm gonna be honest with you, yo. It was a gateway drug. Once I got it, once I got that piece, it was game time. The fact that I could recall and it sounds good. So you mean to tell me it works like a plug-in and it sounds good and it's still analog where I can control it. Yo, it was a no-brainer. It was a completely no-brainer. And as you see, I started off with that, then I went to the Hyperion, the Mimus, and then I got the Titan. And then that's when the story begins. The thing I like about West Audio is this, yo. The plugin feature, the fact that I can work on beat to beat, mix to mix, and save my presets and reload them back, has spoiled me. I, it spoiled me so much that I, I'm gonna be so honest with you. Before I got the Titan to put in my rack, I had other pieces of gear in that rack, and I'm not gonna name companies. I've had. I had Poltex in there, I'm not gonna name the company. I had a vintage channel strip, all going to make room for my Titan. It's all I needed. And the whole fact with the linear power supply, I knew I had enough power to put other stuff in there. You feel what I'm saying? And let's get back to the plug-in part. The fact that it has the drop-down menu, and I can save my presets and move from session to session to session, mix to mix, beat to beat, Yo, it was beast, like it's beast. Like you feel what I'm saying? I plan on filling up my rack and picking up another Titan. And another thing I like about it is when I'm on the road, I can grab my Titan, everything runs from one USB cord into the back of my computer. Amazing. And did I say it sounds good? All right, so let me take you into my world how I use the West Audio gear. I like to use the Dione on the mix bus. And what I usually do is I push into it because it gives that soft clip effect, you feel what I'm saying? So I push into it real hard. And I do like a little bit of compression, probably like two to one. Can't believe I just gave that setting up, man. It's ridiculous. And it has so much headroom in it. I mean, the headroom is big. I'm telling y'all, like, I've used other bus compressors and it sounded small inside the 500 series realm. Like, everything sounded small and compact and congested. Where to me, the Dione, since it has the 24 dB headroom, everything just sounds big and I can just push into it even harder and really get that analog effect because it's got the analog circuitry with the digital front. Plug-in control is dope because I can keep it here and just control everything with my mouse or I cannot use the plug-in and just control everything with the bus compressor. Like the Dione going into my Hyperion. Now the Hyperion is dope. It's a four band EQ, you feel what I'm saying? Mid-side, dual mono, all that. I use it for mastering and I use it for mix bus duties, which I love to death. You feel what I'm saying? So I do my cutting, my enhancing, or whatever I need. And if I want to, which I plan on doing, is picking up another Hyperion and use it on drums. The Hyperion on drums are extremely punchy. Like it's real punchy. And the fact that I had the THD button on both the Dione and the Hyperion, I could color it the way I want to. I can still do what I want to. So it still has that sound. It could be clean, it could be dirty, it's whatever I want, whatever the song calls for. Now, last but not least, this is the one that really made me be like, wow, the Mimus. Now, I track a lot of vocals in my studio here with my artists, like Apollo Valdez, Donnie Darko, myself. Everybody raps differently, everybody hits the compressor differently. The fact that I could save my drop down preset for each rapper and put it in a folder with each rapper's name and how I like this setting for tracking vocals. Yo, you just don't get it. Like I'm from a different era to where when you use the Outboy gear and if you only have like one of them, you gotta literally write down the setting. Like you feel what I'm saying? So when the next person comes in, it's like, okay, I wrote that down. 
that's done. Now when the next person comes in, I write that down. So in case I need to recall, whatever. You feel what I'm saying? With this, everything works like a plugin in the computer with the drop down menu. You cannot beat that. I have been spoiled. Spoiled, I tell you. Like spoiled. Yo, next time y'all see me do a video or see me on Instagram or Facebook, this is gonna be filled up with all West Audio NG500 series gear. You feel what I'm saying? I love it and stuff. I love it to death. I use the Mimus on my snare when I'm doing my beats. I use it on my vocals when I'm doing vocals. When I'm mixing, I use it on vocals again. You feel what I'm saying? And I can use all of it because I have the drop down menu with my presets. So I don't care. I can just like boom, 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 boom. I ain't got to worry about it to be like, oh my gosh, don't touch it because you might mess up my settings. Nah, it's already saved. I'm good, Joe. You feel what I'm saying? Like, I'm good. It's already saved. So you can't beat that. The integration that they have between the hardware and the computer, this is my first time ever seeing something like that. And like I said, I heard about it, but having it in my hands took it to a whole nother plateau to where it's hard for me to use other gear that's not like that. Like, you feel what I'm saying? It really is hard. Like, I have to really like the other gear to use it because West Audio has spoiled me on what they do now. And I just can't wait to see what else they come up with. Like, I'm about to be a West Audio collector. The next time you see my rack, is gonna be West Audio everything. You feel what I'm saying? Like, completely. So, I got new music coming out. I just got some dope placements going with HBO. About to get a mix with that in August coming up, depending on when this video comes out. But it should be August of this summer. And um, I plan on using all this on it, yo. The Dione, the Hyperion, the Mimus. I love it. It's a dope piece, yo. Like, I wish everybody can just come to my studio and use it or whatever. Or just, just go out and buy it and check it out. You know what I'm saying? If you don't like it, hit me up and be like, nigga, fuck you. <laughs> the craftsmanship, the linear power supply, I mean, I can just stack stuff in there and I ain't gotta worry about the power overloading or artifacts and nothing like that. Everything's nice and clean. Separate power supplies to so no noise. You can't beat that, yo. West Audio to me is gonna be the future and the next level. I'm out. I go by the name once again, it's DJ Bless, AKA Sutter Kane. I appreciate y'all. Thank you, West Audio, for having me. Peace.